On a sunny, windy day at Alton Towers on June 2, 2015, two couples, who at the time didn't know each other, were filled with excitement, prepared to ride the Smiler. Friends Vicky, age 20, and Daniel, age 27, eager for thrills, joked about the ride's daunting loops, the friendship evident in their laughter. Leah, aged 17, and Joe, aged 18, this was their fourth day of going out together, looking forward to having some fun. It was a snapshot of happiness, a precious moment before their lives changed dramatically. Stay with us until the end of this video as we'll uncover who was held accountable and detail the fines and compensation that were issued. You'll see actual footage and interviews from Vicky, Leah, and Joe. But first, let's go over the ride's initial launch, its opening day, and the challenges it faced before the traumatic incident, as well as the accident itself. The Smiler ride at Alton Towers in the UK set out to revolutionize the roller coaster world with its world record 14 inversions, at a speed of 85 kilometers per hour, promising an unmatched thrill ride experience. The Smiler's ingeniously designed layout accommodates multiple trains, each holding 16 thrill seekers. These trains are meticulously arranged into four rows, with each row hosting four seats side by side, creating an intensely thrilling experience. What's particularly remarkable about the Smiler is its ability to operate multiple trains on the track at the same time, all starting their exhilarating journey at different intervals. This sophisticated operation enhances the ride's capacity, allowing a larger number of guests to experience its unique blend of psychological and physical thrills with minimized waiting times, even though some of the waiting times exceed one hour, all while ensuring the utmost safety and operational efficiency. The Smiler features over-the-shoulder harnesses, enhancing both safety and the intensity of the experience as passengers navigate through its record-setting inversions. Eagerly anticipated to launch at the beginning of the season on March 16, 2013, Construction delays nudged the unveiling to later in the spring. By April, with the track construction completed in anticipation building, a new opening date was announced for May 23. However, unforeseen teething problems prompted a further delay, amplifying the eagerness among fans. The Smiler finally welcomed its first riders on May 31, 2013. Despite its groundbreaking debut, the Smiler encountered several safety concerns after it opened. On July 21, 2013, an alarming incident occurred when a bolt came loose from the ride while guests were in line, causing a loud noise and leading to a temporary separation of two track sections. This led to a brief closure, but operations were swiftly resumed on July 25, 2013. The ride faced further complications on November 2, 2013, when guide wheels from one of the trains detached during an ascent, hitting four people in the face. This serious safety concern forced the ride to shut down for the remainder of the Scarefest event. However, the Smiler would operate accident-free for all of 2014, but within the following year, the coaster's worst incident would occur. On that fateful day, June 2, 2015, at Alton Towers, something went seriously wrong. Picture this, an operator spots a warning light blinking on the Smiler's control panel. It's not good news. She acts fast, getting everyone off the ride and calling in the experts to take a look. Meanwhile, the park is buzzing with visitors, and in a move to keep things flowing, the fifth carriage gets added into the mix while the ride is down. But here's where things start to unravel. Fast forward to 1.40 p.m. The engineers fix the initial glitch. To make sure everything's running smoothly, they send out another empty carriage for a test run. But, oh no, it doesn't make it all the way around. The carriage stalls and just sits there in a valley of a track, a silent harbinger of what's to come. Thinking it's safe to do so, the ride operator gets the riders back onto the ride, including Vicky, Daniel, Leah, and Joe, who occupy the front seats, and Vanisha, age 29, her mother, Chamba, age 49, and her sister, Mira, age 26, occupying the second row and eight other riders behind them, all clueless about the danger ahead. As their train began its ascent, the safety systems kicked in, halting its progress because another train was still on the track. But due to a mix-up, the staff mistook this for a false alarm. After all, the engineer had only counted four trains, unaware that it was supposed to be five. It seems there was a crucial miscommunication between the ride operators and the engineers. Maybe they were under pressure to minimize the ride's downtime or were thinking about bonuses linked to operational efficiency. Whatever the reason, one engineer made the call to override the safety system at 1.51 p.m., believing it was merely a glitch or a ghost train situation. This decision, unfortunately, set the scene for what would become a catastrophic event. Just like that, with the push of a button, the train carrying the riders, Vicky, Daniel, Leah, and Joe, found themselves in the most vulnerable positions for impact, seated at the very front. Vanisha, Chanda, and Mira were right behind them in the second row, bracing for the unthinkable. They hurtled through the ride at great speed towards the stalled train, 
The impact of the crash was similar to a 90 miles per hour car crash. The ensuing collision spared no one, inflicting injuries from severe to minor. The impact, like something from a nightmare, was swift and devastating, altering lives in a heartbeat. Crushed legs, internal injuries, broken bones, all the result of a critical miscommunication between the ride operator and engineer. In a horrifying moments following the Smiler roller coaster crash at Alton Towers, time seemed to stand still for the passengers caught in the mangled carriages. Despite the urgent need for medical assistance, it took 11 minutes for the first 999 call to be made. The complexity of the rescue operation was immediately apparent. The crash site, perched high on the track and woven intricately within the ride's steel framework, presented a daunting challenge for first responders. The terrain around the Smiler, combined with the coaster's elevated and twisted tracks, significantly hindered the emergency team's access to the injured. Safety was a paramount concern, not just for the victims, but for the rescue team as well. Before the firefighters and paramedics could reach the passengers, they had to set up scaffolding to ensure the structure was secure, eliminating any risk of causing additional injuries or a secondary accident during the rescue effort. Moreover, the severity of the injuries meant that some riders needed to be stabilized before they could be safely moved. Medical personnel worked meticulously to provide immediate care, prioritizing the well-being of those with the most critical injuries. This careful, methodical approach, while essential for the passenger's safety, added to the time it took to extricate them from the wreckage. All this took over four hours. Among the most seriously injured were Lee Washington and Vicky Balch, both had a leg amputated after the crash. Lee's boyfriend Joe Pugh had smashed kneecaps and one of his fingers was nearly ripped off. Vicky's friend Daniel Thorpe had a collapsed lung and fractured leg, while Chan had internal injuries and needed stomach surgery. Following the tragic Smiler roller coaster accident, Merlin Entertainments, the park's operator, faced significant legal and financial consequences. The company was going to be fined 7.5 million pounds if the case had gone to trial. It was reduced by a third to 5 million pounds. After the company's early guilty plea, this was for breaching health and safety laws. The investigation concluded that the incident was the result of human error culminating in the manual override of the ride safety control system without the appropriate protocols being followed. Since then, Alton Towers and the wider theme park industry have significantly improved safety measures. The Smiler now has additional CCTV cameras, enhanced staff safety training, and a system that prevents overriding safety blocks without senior engineer approval. Moreover, Jerslauer, the manufacturer of the ride, has introduced a feature to halt operations if wind speeds exceed 34 miles per hour, eliminating the risk of similar accidents. These changes have made the Smiler and theme parks much safer, ensuring that such a tragedy is unlikely to occur again. As Varney said, from the beginning, the company has accepted full responsibility for the terrible accident at Alton Towers and has made sincere and heartfelt apologies to those who were injured. In accepting responsibility and liability very early on, we have tried to make the healing and compensation process as trouble-free as possible for all of those involved. We have strived to fulfill our promise to support them in every way and I promise that this support will continue as long as they need it. All 16 victims of the accident received compensation, although the specific amounts were not disclosed. These settlements were designed to cover their extensive medical costs, ongoing care, lost earnings, and the pain and suffering they endured. The compensation aimed to offer substantial support, particularly to those most severely impacted. From the information I have uncovered, Joe received around 100,000 pounds. I heard this bang and felt something slam into my knees. And then I just kind of opened my eyes and I looked down and I could, I could just see like blood and knee splattered onto front of carriage and stuff. Leah received a couple of million pounds. Took to hospital, that process of, of trying to stabilize your leg, trying to save your leg, and it was in a terrible, terrible condition. Your leg, your leg was in a, in, a, in a dreadful mess. Um, at what point was it discussed that you might lose it? Um, I think it was just before they took me in, um, I was, as I was signing the consent, um, they actually said, um, we might have to amputate. I'm just obviously letting you know because it's what, you, what you're consenting for. Vicky received multiple millions as her injuries and recovery were the most severe. You'd lost an awful lot of blood. Yeah. They had to fly blood yeah. in. You had to have a yeah. transfusion yeah. there on, at the scene. They had to resuscitate you a couple of times. Um, they were saying these are kind of methods that were used in battlefields, yeah. you know, because your injuries were so severe. Joe and Lee are now married to each other, and Vicky has also gotten married. I wish all 16 victims and their families the very best. Do you love going on roller coasters? Since putting together some of these videos, I've started to think twice about going on them. However, from the reviews that Alton Towers is receiving, the Smiler ride is still very popular. 
They've had no other incidents and people have enjoyed their day out at the park. If you enjoy watching these sorts of videos, then I know you will enjoy the ones on the end screen. Until next time, bye for now.